Howdy. <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> what is going on, Fit Fam? Hello, hello. Yeah. Happy Wednesday, dude. I'm about to trip on this battle rope right here. Let me move it. you guys have been killing. <laughs> Woo, yes. Uh, how are you guys liking the battle ropes, man? Let me know. Let me know. Uh, we've only used them, what, like two times since we've been in? Back into it, but I don't know. Anyways, we are here uh, for another episode of Coffee with the Coaches. Uh, it is myself and Coach Valencia today, um, and uh, neither of us are drinking coffee, so I don't know why we're calling this coffee. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys are drinking coffee. You guys have your coffee, hang out with us, Coffee with Coaches. Listen, it sounds really catchy. <laughs> it sounds catchy. It sounds great. <laughs> Oh man. All right, guys, hope you're having an awesome, awesome day. Um, we have all of our supplements out here for you guys. I know a lot of you took advantage of that Black Friday sale, so Great. awesome, awesome stuff. Um, but I just want to give you guys a quick little reminder that we do carry all this stuff in the studio. Uh, we got our delicious proteins. We got the strawberries and cream, chocolate peanut butter cup, frosted vanilla cake, and then our vegan proteins, chocolate brownie, Frosted vanilla cupcake. I'm so smart sometimes. I Ooh, that the flavors just sound good. They're delicious. They sound so good. We're only missing one. We got our um, the chocolate, um, the chocolate way, but they're all super super good. Um, and then we got our delicious wellness shots. They're citrus, turmeric, um, ginger, and they taste really really good. So we got those. We have our everyday fit. We got tons of flavors of those. Help you guys drink more water. Um, Pina colada, sweet raspberry mango, lemon lime drop, and then we got the, the ageless super greens and mint apple flavor, super, super good. Uh, and then we got the fish oil and the multivitamin. Um, they don't taste super good, but they are so good for you. Uh, but they actually, you guys, I love the fish oil um, because it really does not leave that nasty aftertaste in your mouth. Um, yeah, no, it doesn't do that, so it's awesome stuff. Um, and we'll be talking about these a little bit more in our episode today, because today we are talking about... What are we Recovery. Talking about <laughs> Come on, Valencia. <laughs> We're talking recovery today, all right? So uh, we're going to go over some of this stuff with you guys, too. I just want to say what's up to who's on here. Uh, who is this? Mommies of four boys. Oh, sure. oh, that's Sherry. What's up, Sherry? Jasmine. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Daniel. Susie Q. What's up, Susie? Clarissa. All right. Rhiannon. Hey, what's up, Rhiannon? Woo woo. All right. Awesome. <laughs> Victoria sneaking in on work at work with us. Awesome. <laughs> All right, you guys. Cool. You ready to jump into it? Always. Always, we gotta stay ready. Woo, all right. Kick us off, Valencia. So, clearly you guys are here because you work out and you do all that good stuff. And the goal is to get three check-ins a week. So I expect everybody that's on here to get three workouts every single week, three times. That is the- Minimum. Exactly. <laughs> to make sure that you're getting, getting results. But of course, it's, it's 30 minutes out of your day, especially if you're working out like in here with us. It's 30 minutes. 30 minutes is a great amount of time to work out. I did a workout last night and I, I just felt dead. I, I passed out, like literally at like 7.30. It was <laughs> Maybe it's not like you passed out in the studio. No. <laughs> he went home and passed out. <laughs> yeah, a little bit safer, arguably. But uh, we have soft floors. But uh, I guess it's a solo show. So, <laughs> recovery is super important though. We have 24 hours in our day. You're working out for 30. So what you do for the next 23 is, is pretty, pretty important. Because we can't just do the workouts and expect everything to be hunky-dory. I've never <laughs> used that sentence in my life. Hunky-dory. All right. Well, I've had the holiday time. season is getting to you or are you just feeling jolly? I'm like feeling like an infomercial. Um, <laughs> yeah, but 20, uh, the 23 and a half hours out of your day, like that's... That's the important stuff. It's what you do outside of the studio that's gonna provide the results in here. Because again, like we said, when you come in here, you're breaking down your muscles, you're getting fatigued, you're tiring your body, you're putting yourself under physical stress. Yes. And it's how you repair yourself after. And that's where all of these wonderful supplements come into play because they all serve a specific purpose. And now, everybody has their own specific routines that they recover, but I mean, Kat is 
you probably think about the, the healthy habits in your sleep at this point because you know them so well. So what yes. are they? So explain to the people. The habits, yes. healthy habits. Um, sleep is definitely, definitely like number one priority. Um, staying hydrated too helps a lot with recovery. Um, and then just uh, doing um, some sort of other physical activity, you know, going for walks or taking time to stretch, um, just things to kind of loosen things up. Um, yeah, what else we got? <laughs> yeah, it's all great stuff. And uh, remember, like, recovery is pretty much every single thing you do outside of here. Like, when you come in here, clearly the cool thing is if you have my zone, which all of you should, because it is a great tool, and everybody that uses it pushes a little bit harder every single day, if not a lot of it harder. But um, you see the calories that you expend just working out and, and doing stuff, right? And so, <laughs> sorry, I was reading a message that someone just wrote on our live. <laughs> and uh, and uh, it's the calories that you expend in here. And it's cool; those are your active calories. And the goal is to keep yourself moving throughout the day because you don't want to just like. Hit a workout extremely hard here and then just go home or go at work and just sit down all day and like do whatever. You want to like be active. You want to get movement in. That's why those of you that have a Fitbit probably have a step goal or something like that or a mile goal or, or whatever you're trying to get done. And that's part of recovery too. It's it's active recovery. It's, yes. it's keeping your body moving because your body doesn't just want to stay still. Like we weren't meant to just like be in a cubicle all day and then go home and then just sit on the couch. You, would, you want to move. The more you That's move, why we have four limbs. We're meant to move. <laughs> That's why it's like, it's super important. That's why the more you move, the more the less sore you kind of feel because your body's like it's nice and warm. Although when you when you wake up in the morning, that's when you're the most sore because you get out of bed and you're just like ah, this hurts. I don't want to do anything. And then like the more that you get going, you're like okay, it's not that bad. Mm -hmm. Motion is the best lotion. <laughs> Just remember that when you're extremely sore. <laughs> it's true. You just, you just. No, because I'm thinking of that. I have like the driest hands in the world right now. And I was like, no, it's not in this okay, case. Okay, we're talking about muscles. Yeah, muscles, yeah. Muscle, yeah. <laughs> but, okay, you calm down with me. Um, yeah, so it's like the movement that you do after. It's, it's the added energy that you expend day to day post your workout. Because any like you guys can go on a walk like outside and do something. Like do things at once. If you know you're gonna like if you know you're gonna be on Instagram for the day, you might as well go on a walk and do it. Like, you know, clearly pay attention where you're going. Don't play in the street. But you know, get those active those active calories up by just doing like simple things. You're not working out like extensively by doing that, but you're adding to your recovery because your body wants that motion. Like the the biggest thing is everybody's like, oh, like we have to have like a really big rest day and do absolutely nothing. Like that's that just keeps you stiff. That keeps your you're not using the lotion. So so you gotta like move and stuff like that. And so yes. exactly. and, if, and if getting outdoors is not like if it's not feasible for you for whatever reason, maybe the weather's not good or whatever it is, like taking time to stretch or just do a couple like body weight exercises do get a couple push-ups in a couple squats um, get get your muscles moving and then do some stretching afterwards that's really good too it's gonna help you out with your recovery it's gonna help you get uh, more flexible and that way that's gonna help you actually move better in your workouts um, and see we've got our foam rollers out here um, these are an awesome, awesome recovery tool to use. Um, this is known as uh, the poor man's massage as well, um, because you're basically, you don't have to pay anybody to give you a massage, you just do it yourself. <laughs> um, but that's what those are for you guys. Like, if you have a foam roller at home, use it, roll everything. You can literally roll your body like head to toe um, and, or just do some stretching on the ground. Um, do some yoga, things like that. Like again, you want to move your body, stretch your muscles, and, and that's going to help you out so with the soreness. And again, it's going to help you move better in your workouts because you're going to have a better range of motion too. So yeah. yeah, I don't think I mean I typically never yell at cat like in a, in a, uh, in a mean way. But if you follow her yoga routine, like I, I get upset. I can't. I, mean, I don't bend that way. And I'm just like, okay, but <laughs> yoga is also a great alternative. It's great. I love doing it. I mean, I, I love doing it. I hate when I'm doing it, but afterwards I feel great. And it's like, it, you don't exert a whole bunch of energy in it unless you're trying to like go that route, which I just want to stretch and feel good about myself. So yes. that's my goal. Uh, and if you guys want that on our YouTube channel, um, I actually have a playlist of some yoga videos on there. Um, so if you ever 
one. I, I think my yoga videos are probably roughly that like 45 minutes long. Um, so if you want to try some yoga at home, um, do that and then feel free to yell at me. It's all good. You can, you can scream in your own home. That's the best part. Yes. But, uh, but uh, yeah, also, rest, sleep, sleep, yes. sleep, sleep. It is the arguably one of the most important things. Like, if you're not getting your proper sleep, like, you feel it the next day, like, immediately. Mm -hmm. If, like, anything else, like, if you don't exactly hit your water, you're not going to be like, oh, like, I, I'm feeling it really bad the next day. And if you don't hit your protein goal every single day, like, you don't exactly feel it, but when you lack your sleep, you, you feel it. And if that becomes your, like, new normal, like, if you're consistently getting six hours, less than six hours of sleep a night, you feel like you're dragging along. And then once you get more recovered and you get your rest and you look back and like, oh, I wasn't well rested. I wasn't feeling good. Like sleep is super important. And I know that's one of the things that like I'm trying to work on too. That's that's probably one of my most inconsistent healthy habits that I have because it's I just I try to put it off. I'm like, oh no, I'll be fine. And it doesn't work out that way. So sleep is super important. That's yes. that's where like most of your recovery comes from with your brain and your body. Like your brain uses that time to like release stress like kind of like dump everything out, recover muscles because you're not doing anything, so it's time to like work. It's like when people do, like why people go and do construction on the road at night, the, it's when nothing's happening, so you're able to use that time to like make the most out of it, and then when you wake up, your body's ready to go and ready to function. So we need that construction time, or else or else nothing's getting done, or it's not optimally getting done, we're halfway there, and then we have traffic in the morning, and then everybody's upset. <laughs> awesome analogy. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, you guys, sleep is like, oh my gosh, so important. Um, you know, I've, I've been open with you guys and letting you know, like, I was, uh, my sleeping habits were, were not the best, um, but I have, like, been trying so, so hard to, like, get it under control, and I actually started, like, tracking my, my days that I get six or more hours of sleep, um, and I was like, I would do like one, two, three days and then like fall off for two days and then I'd be good for like four days, fall off, three days, fall off, two days, fall off. And I finally, this is just recently, I hit my biggest streak of 12 days in a row, or maybe it was 11, I think it was 11 nights in a row I slept six or more hours. And then just one night of getting less than six hours, I totally felt it and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I was like, I was uh, just living like this like every day for a long time before I like made it a priority. And it makes a huge difference. So if you guys, if you are not sleeping more than six to seven hours, eight hours, like start doing it and just, you're gonna feel amazing and your body's gonna feel so much better and you're gonna recover a lot better too. So make your sleep a priority. Yeah. If you can get, like if it is not an issue, for you to have the time to get eight hours of sleep, like make it a priority. Yes, yes. Like if your life lines up to where like you're able to do that, do it. Don't yes. just put it off and just stay up. Turn off the TV, dead. just shut off the phone, go to bed, man, take advantage of it. Cause there's a lot, there's a lot of people who like, their schedules just don't allow for it, man. Like they, they got a lot going on, but if you're just like chilling at home, watching things, like turn it off, go to sleep. <laughs> That's the, yeah. that's sleep, 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 super important. Yes. <laughs> and the supplements too, you guys. So supplements are another great thing to help you out with your recovery. Um, specifically too, the, the, we talk about the, the Everyday Fit a lot. It actually has BCAAs in here, which is specifically for muscle recovery. <laughs> so yeah. really good stuff. Um, we used to actually sell just straight BCAAs, um, but then it got put into the Everyday Fit, so that's why we don't sell it as a standalone product, but it's inside of the, all of the Everyday Fits. And for those of you that don't know what BCAA is, it stands for Branch Chain Amino Acids. Uh, essentially, your body produces, I believe it's 12, 11 or 12, something like that, and you just want to have those amino acids in your body at all times. If you're eating like 100% perfect, 100% clean, like you get those BCAAs naturally, but who does that? Exactly. <laughs> really, like, I, I know even me, like I, I take this every day and then probably it helps me out. And so, you know, if you're not eating hundred percent clean, you're eating like, you know, what is it? Five servings of vegetables and like uh, your proteins on point and car like everything's working out fine. Then you don't need BCAAs, but I don't do that. I need them. <laughs> I need to drink them. So it's, it's a great product. It tastes delicious. And also if you don't like water, 
It yeah, tastes yeah. like watermelon splash. Yeah, right? Yes, watermelon splash. Oh, or lemon this. lime drop. That's the only one I haven't tried, and I want to try this one. It's good. It's like very. Um, I love like. It's very like subtle. I feel like the other ones, like the flavors, are very strong. This one is very subtle. So if you don't want something that with like very strong flavor, the lemon lime drop is a good way to go. That just means you have to cook more scoops. That or that too. <laughs> uh, but obviously, guys, like our bodies need vitamins and minerals to to help with the the recovery process too. So that's where the you know the. The vitamins come in, the multivitamin, the greens, the fish oil, like all of this stuff is just good for your body. And that's why we carry this. That's why Truly was created for for you guys, for Fit Body Bootcamp members, so that you guys get the most out of your workouts, you get the best recovery, and just overall, you know, health. Um, this is what you guys, this is what you guys need right here. What are you trying to do, Valencia? <laughs> If you guys are watching right now, let us know what are your like some of your favorite ways to recover. Whether it's like certain products that you use, um, maybe walking is your thing, foam rolling, uh, or maybe you just love sleeping. What's what's your favorite way to to get your recovery in? Um, Jeez, it keeps going. Yes, it's super long. The list on that is like Jeez. incredibly long. So if you want to know what's in the multivitamin, it's all this stuff that I'm not gonna read. <laughs> There's like at least 20 something lines and all of it has your percentages of your daily doses and they're all hitting pretty much 100%. Mm -hmm. So again, if you're eating 100% perfect, you don't technically need a multivitamin vitamin except for B12, but I'm not. So take the multivitamins. <laughs> <laughs> and then fish oil, great. Your essential, you know, essential fatty acids, they help with everything, with digestion, with overall health, muscle recovery. So, if you've never had fish oils before, I highly suggest you try them out just because of how, how good of an effect it can have on you to keep you just regularly feeling great throughout the day. And of course, if you're eating like a ton of salmon, like oily fishes, then you're not gonna need that. But at the same time, like I have salmon maybe like once a month, and I really enjoy salmon, but I know I'm not getting the quantity that I need. So those are very important that I take, you know, every day. That way I can get those essential fatty acids that my body needs. And again, today's all about recovery. You want to make sure you're recovered as much as possible. Like everything here has a specific purpose, and especially these right now. I take these every day. The the, the wellness shots. Mm -hmm. Like you want to make sure that your body's running as optimally as possible. And at the same time, you don't want to just grab something off the shelf that says it's like like the little star and it's like, wow, super good for you. And like you read the label and it's like, it's a bunch of fillers, it's a bunch of you know other stuff. You wanna make sure that you're giving yourself the quality you need because there's no sense in skipping out when it comes to your own health. So you wanna make sure that you take recovery as seriously as possible. And yes. so, you know, stretching, walking, doing yoga, nailing a cat, taking your supplements. Like, it's all super important. Foam rolling, no matter how much it hurts, to keep on going. Like, I foam roll nearly every day. Guys, if you're foam rolling and it hurts, that's because you need it. Like you're tight, you're, you're, you need to get a little loose and stuff. So uh, that's, that's always like a sign that you, that you need the foam rolling. It I, hurts. I have tight, really tight hamstrings, the back of your legs after, after like a heavy hamstring days when we're doing like deadlifts or whatever in here, like yesterday. Mm -hmm. And uh, my girlfriend's favorite thing is I have a handheld foam roller and she's like laid out and she just foam rolls it out. And I, it is no joke. I am screaming into a pillow because I need it, but after it feels great. And it's like, my legs are so yes. tight that I need that, that, it's called myofascial release, but it just means it's stretching out the muscles because they're so tight and bunched up, like here, that you need the pressure to push down and just let them straighten yes. all the way out. And then you match that with like a light block or something like that, boom, you feel amazing. Yeah, I. After I learned about uh, foam rolling like years ago, I'm like, I try to do it as much as I can. But like Valencia was saying, there's like literally, there's like, there, your fascia, there's a, there's like a web, it's like almost like a web that, that is layered over your muscles. And it's supposed to be like soft and flexible, but we work out and we stress and we, we do all these things where it gets like super, super tight. And that's when we get like knots and discomfort and we need a massage or uh, the foam rolling to help like loosen those things up and get them back to where the, how they're supposed to be like nice. And, but you gotta do that consistently too. Like you gotta take your recovery serious 
and use the foam rolling or have somebody use, you know, there's all kinds of uh, recovery tools that you guys can get or actually go and get a massage. I actually have a massage book tomorrow and I cannot wait. <laughs> I know I have my little, I get like knots and stuff all over the place sometimes and just getting them um, massaged out is really, really good too. Like you guys, you guys are like athletes. You gotta think about that. Like you guys are coming to boot camp multiple times a week, working out, like you're putting a lot of stress on your body. You guys are training. You guys are like athletes and athletes, trust me, they take a lot of time to recover and they get massages and they do these, they take their supplements and do those things. Like treat yourself like that because um, you essentially are an athlete. Maybe you're not playing a sport, but you're in here training hard every, every every day. So you need to take care of yourself, take care of your body. Yeah, like I read an article the other day. Now granted, I don't expect anybody in here to be able to do this. <laughs> what LeBron James spent, I think it was like $1.5 million just in recovery, like this in, in this past year of 2020. Just in muscle recovery and all that stuff. Now he's up to like the upper echelon of like athletes, like the top performer in the NBA, but it's like a really serious thing. The better recovered you are, the better you can perform. If you're having a, a mobility issue, granted if it's not an injury or anything like that, like sometimes it's just because you're so tight and knotted up and you haven't had time to recover properly. Like when I stretch my chest, when I do all that stuff, like I have poor shoulder mobility because I know that I have a really tight area right here in my in my chest. So when I'm able to actually stretch out, recover, do what I have to do, my shoulders feel so much better. Like I have that. And that's always been the thing that I've had like my whole life. And so finding out what is your routine, what are things that you can do, what what is a simple process that you can do every day. Maybe at the end of the night, stretch for 10 minutes. Something's tight, stretch, figure it out, roll out, take a light walk, you know, on, on off days or after a workout, you know, mm -hmm. do something, just figure out one thing that you can do. Even if it's right now, now I know someone said that they're at work, so probably not a good idea to just step out right now. But you know, take a small walk. If you're listening to coffee with the coaches without the coffee right now, go. You know, listen to it, take a small walk, do what you gotta do, like do something that way you're feeling better day in and day out. Cause you wanna feel better than you were before. You don't wanna feel more <laughs> jacked up and like all night and kind of like cooped up by the end of the day. You wanna feel better, stronger, faster, and more confident about yourself. Yeah, and you know, if you do have problem areas, like Valencia's saying, like he has really tight hamstrings, like if you know you have a problem area, then just spend a little bit more time on, on that. At least start there, at least focus on where you most need it and then start adding to your recovery from there. I know for me, it's my calves, oh my gosh. I have tight calves. Um, it hurts really, really bad on my foam roll. If like Sergio's giving me massage and he's doing my calves, like I get extremely mad at him, but <laughs> like it needs to get done. Um, but it hurts really, really bad. But again, it's like, you need it. If you don't do it, it's just gonna get worse. So um, I know where your problems are, your problem areas are at. Yes. Okay, Woo. all right. I can't wait for my massage tomorrow now. <laughs> so looking forward to that. Oh man. Um, all right, what else we got? I think that's pretty much it, it's time to wrap it up. But um, I know there's six people on here, at least on Facebook. If you're on here, I want you to set, like, set some kind of goal, set some type of intention, whether you're on here live or, or watching post. Um, the repost. Post. Yeah, the repost. Like, set something. It's the simplest thing you can think of. Like, stretch one leg. Just set, like, a single task because you want to build that habit. And it's not going to start by saying, like, oh, I'm going to do a foam rolling routine followed by yoga and then a little bit. Like, that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Just do it something you can literally, like, right this second. Get it done. And then tomorrow, just try and do the same thing. Just one single thing. And then just build up from there. That way, by the end of uh, end of this month, the end of, oh, wow, the end of this year. That's crazy to say. Yes. <laughs> That's it. By the end of December, like you have some kind of small routine in place and you know it helps you out. And again, if it's a problem area, focus on it. Like yes. cater to it a little bit more. And when you guys are stretching at home too, you guys like take time and, and stretch properly. Okay, so like when we're here in boot camp, you know, we're like we hold stretches for like a few seconds. You really want to hold it. Um, for at least like 30 seconds. One actually good like rule of thumb is to hold each stretch for one second for every year of your life. So if, um, if you're 30 years old, you wanna hold your stretches for 30 seconds. If you're older than 30, hold your stretches for that long. Um, that's just a great way. You wanna like just 
hold your stretches. And then too, like if you are stretching or holding something, every few seconds, try to give a little bit more. And then a little bit more, like try to really lengthen out things as much as you can. And breathe. Yes, breathe, don't <laughs> relax. It's like you're recovering, relaxing. It should be, yeah. Um, yeah, so just, you know, keep that in mind too when you guys are at home. Um, you wanna actually hold your stretches and get as deep as you can into your stretches, okay? Um, and again, do a YouTube uh, yoga video with me because there we, we definitely uh, get into some deep stretching on there. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, you guys, uh, thank you guys for, for joining us today. Um, we will see you guys next week. All yes. right, cool. All start. right, Fit Fam. Hands in, you guys, and uh, family on three. One, two, three. Family! Hey. Don't crush your day. Dominate the day.